Hello everyone! Today I am going to show you a small tutorial on how to make a launch screen storyboard for your default game. So uh, the thing is, uh, to use a launch screen storyboard, it was very difficult some time ago. For instance, if we see this <coughs> topic, uh, Here's the solution by Sven, and uh, what you had to do is uh, compile an Xcode project with application, uh, decompress it, and then uh, extract a compiled version of your storyboard, and then you have to, and then you had to compile your default game, extract it, replace launch screen with storyboard and then re, uh, repackage it and sign it again. Yeah, that's really tedious and not comfortable at all. Thankfully, now it's much easier to do. Uh, for those who don't know, UI launch images are a set of Im static images, usually PNGs, uh, that you provide with your project and uh, these images appear before your main game is loaded. So if you uh, make launch images of your main screen in the game, it feels like uh, your game is loaded instantly. And you can also place some branding on the launch screen, make it a splash screen, so now it's all deprecated. Deprecated by Apple since iOS 13. And uh, quite recently, so everybody should stop using it. What they suggest is using launch screen. Launch screen is a storyboard based launch image, basically. Again, static launch screen images are not recommended. What are the advantages of the launch screen? Uh, is that it's dynamic. So this storyboard file has some logic in it and it can adjust itself to your current device screen and look nice everywhere. So to create a launch screen, let's create an Xcode project. Xcode new project. Let's select single view app. Next. Uh, somewhere I don't know, storyboard. Okay, so um, in this Xcode project, you should navigate to launch screen storyboard. And this is your launch screen. Currently, it's just white. Often, when you are using UI launch images, it is recommended to make them all black PNGs if you just don't care about them. And you actually had to make at least two of them, so iOS would understand that your game actually supports tall screens. And to change the color, we can change uh, this main view uh, background color to say black, and uh, that would be uh, the replacement of black PNGs with a black storyboard. And as you can see, it's very easy to make one. But we are going to insert a launch screen image. I have a image of my dog Steven. Let's copy it here into the project and uh, add into the view image view here's the image view what are we going to adjust here is um, actual image launch screen jpg and we want to select content mode. I recommend uh, uh, either scale to fill. 
I recommend either aspect fit or aspect fill. The difference is that aspect fit will leave black borders on the sides if your image is not uh, tailored to uh, uh, specific screens and aspect fill will fill the image to every border so there are no black borders visible. Now we need to <coughs> make our image appear at the center and uh, occupy the whole screen. We do so with constraints. So we want everything to be tightly fit to the borders. We need to replace safe area bottom with a super view bottom. and everywhere should be zeros. Yeah, like so. And now you can see uh, how your launch image will look like on different phones. So for instance, if we select iPhone 8, it will occupy the whole screen. iPhone 11 Pro Max, again, the whole screen. Uh, iPad, whole screen iPhone SE again the whole screen so this is very easy also we can add some company name as a text so let's drag label let's say company name over here select color for instance green make it bold and uh, larger for instance 32 and now we need to place it <coughs> at the center of the screen as well so for that we are using the align constraint and add these two constraints with a zero value now let's check on different screens so at the center at the center at the center nice okay so what we should do now is select some generic ios device click build product build and it has compiled to your derived data directory in your home folder library developer xcode derived data over here let's go to build intermediate storyboard debug storyboard base l proj and here's our launch screen storyboard compiled version of our launch screen as you can see it only weights four kilobytes very very low but this is because it doesn't contain the image we need to copy the image as well so now let's open up default project i have prepared earlier it's uh, one of the sample games about a rocket in the space shooting asteroids so previously you would specify your launch images in the ios section over here now you don't need to do that but what you have to do is to go to your project launch screen create a folder called 
res and as a folder iOS and put here your compiled version of your storyboard along with the launch screen file image file okay now in the project section we need to specify the res folder as a bundle resources directory don't confuse it with custom resources directory we need bundle resources the difference is that custom resources get packed into a default archive and uh, bundle resources are just copied along with the main binaries we need that option so now we need to modify our info.plist file let's copy the default one into our project also select here mm -hmm. and now inside the info plist file we can delete that section and we need to add launch screen section it should look like this UI launch storyboard name and specify the uh, launch screen file name which is just launch screen and this is it and when you build and install your application on your device here's my iPhone 8 and launch it you will see the launch screen storyboard yeah it's working so here is it I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful don't use the launch images anymore you can use normal launch screen storyboard if you like what I do please subscribe to my channel there are more default videos are coming up and uh, please consider supporting me on patreon thank you goodbye